Hello everyone and welcome to the 17th episode of our Stalker Gamma Invictus run. So, last episode, we went to Radar, we cleared out the Monolith base, we did the Brain Scorcher. It was a very, very smooth Brain Scorcher. We finished with almost 5 minutes on the clock. Uh, we our, our gear really, really carried us, which was uh, amazing. Um, yeah, after that... We came back to Rostock, we dropped off everything we picked up from the monolith. Then we went to Truck Cemetery, we cleared some of the stashes, well, all of the stashes, but uh, as you can see, I did a few more missions and got some more. We killed some mutants, uh, and we killed a Chimera, and we got a pristine Chimera hide, which is amazing. I'm, I'm so happy we, we got this. Right, you probably noticed some more changes to our gear. And that is because after we finished last time's episode, I actually took the time to go on a long, long farming run. Took three, four hours. Uh, and I just uh, farmed around the south. Basically, I uh, did some missions in Wild, picked up some stashes, did some missions in Yantar. Um went to garbage i had like 30 stashes in garbage it was it was crazy and uh yeah every time um i finished a little bit i came back to rostock i turned in a few more uh, missions because we have a huge stockpile of mutant parts and meats so every time i came back to rostock i draw i i finished another like five to ten missions uh just turning in parts so we ended up getting uh, quite a lot of money, which I used to buy uh, meds uh, to get uh, upgrades and um, uh, to get a lot of bullets. <clears throat> and we also fixed up our AK-12 monolith, which I upgraded to a monolith 2.0. We still need to find a grenade launcher for it. Um, I'm not sure if this was the best of ideas i i uh dismantled my ak-105 specialist for upgrades the thing is i forgot the ak-12 does not have a slanted scope but it does have a laser sight so um i guess it makes up for it it's um it used to be one of my favorite weapons but uh, now i remember why i didn't like it so much but it does have a 60 round mag so that's that's really good but it also kicks back like a well not like a horse but it kicks back much harder than than the 105 so uh for now we'll use this until we finish our 545 uh, ammo we also bought some 556 ammo i actually ended up uh, all the way down to the clear sky base i didn't do much in in the great swamps but i did want to buy a, a round of uh, ammunition right um i also upgraded the saiga a little bit i repaired the deer hunter and uh, crafted some lapua rounds so this will be really awesome for murdering higher level enemies it's got a lot of damage 116 on the rifles and uh, yeah the bullets have 130 stopping power and basically unlimited ap <laughs> It's an amazing weapon, but we are a bit limited on the ammo. And uh, yeah, last time I also fixed the Step Eagle. Unfortunately, it uh, bugged out on me and uh, started to crash. Again, I'm running, an, I think, the first version of 0 0.91. So I don't have the Step Eagle uh, fix installed. And I didn't update it because I, I'm kind of scared it will mess with the settings. So... Um, I also had the Desert Eagle in the stash, so I just uh, repaired the Desert Eagle, put a sight on it, and it's going to be our sidearm from now on. Right, um, other things. We, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff, and our um, uh, companions also have a lot of ammo and all the good weapons on them. Hip as well. That's because... I want to start moving out to the north. That means uh, 
we're gonna cross through army warehouses maybe do the mission here uh through red forest uh gonna do the missions in uh, jupiter and then we're gonna meet with beard in zaton and uh he will uh, lead us to rogue and then we'll do the mission in the antenna complex and hopefully we'll have enough time to also go through jupiter underground and to come out in the outskirts and once we reach the outskirts this will probably be in the next episode we will start farming for uh, our exoskeleton and uh, the repair kit recipe so i'm gonna spend a lot of time in the outskirts maybe even head to pripyat although i wouldn't go to pripyat without an exoskeleton but uh yeah we'll, we'll see what happens then <laughs> uh, i would also like a second set of expert tools so let's see how it goes don't forget to uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, of course, throw in a comment. Um, right, so let's get on with it. Okay, so just like always, I'm gonna go left along the road here. Um, just wanna take a little peek first and before I forget let's switch to AP because the enemies are gonna start getting worse and worse from here on out it, it's it's a little bit annoying that I can't really see here what's coming I'm gonna keep a close eye on that gate there. Because I am really scared of chimeras here. <laughs> right, and let's see who's over there. No one? There's usually some guys. We're just clear. They could be in the tunnel, hiding from the emissions. So, walk back to this. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick tunnel check. Looks clear. I am hearing something. I'm gonna guess it's a boar from the way it sounds. A boar or a flesh. Yup, there's the boar. Right? And there's also... It's not a poltergeist. It's a... Um, uh, shadow thing. I always forget what they're called. Uh, those things are really hard to kill. So I'm I'm gonna try and oh, okay, there's someone there. Oh, crap! These sin guys have a uh, stupid powerful weapons. Oh. Okay, 
Right, I still want to deal with that thing. Oh! There was another one there. Don't see anyone else. Let's swap back to HP and let's go kill that uh, dark poltergeist. Okay, that's that makes me feel a little bit safer. There's one sin guy here. Oh, okay, that's that's why it hurt like crazy, because he shot me with a fucking Dragunov. Uh again, we're gonna drop what we don't need, including these. Oh, I thought I was firing uh, AP, that's why I fired like crazy. There's another one. I think I got him. Okay, I really want the other monolith guy to loot. Although monoliths don't really have the best uh, the best stuff on them, usually an RPD, I mean. Yeah, this is this is too heavy to be worth it. And yeah, I know there's a. St mm, should I take the stash? You know what? Let's let's go take the stash. I'm getting pretty close to the mines, and that's uh, not very uh, comfy for me. Um, now we'll take that too. Four. Okay, so I don't expect any more mutants. Let's swap to our sniper rifle, and uh, let's move to the other corner, up to the other side towards the east, because it's a bit easier to take the, the wall from here. Oh, crap. Again with the crazy powerful weapons. Fucking bullet sponges. There's another one right here, right? I can't tell for sure. Behind the tree. Okay. Did he... Okay. Uh, I, f I hate these fuckers. God, I hate them. With a passion. I think that was it. Okay. Again, we're just uh, getting the stuff we can use. Yes to this, no to this. Okay. Um, mm, 
this doesn't really sell for much. Bullets, badges, right. Now, nah, already have one of those. Repair kits, yes. Stuff that's light, yes. Oh, yeah. Right, we'll take these. I'll drop that. Okay. Gonna do another uh, impact, and I'm gonna have one of these. And I'll have to do a Vinca as well. Right, and uh, I cooked some food. Oh, the gate's bugging out over there. <laughs> got got stuck in a corpse. Right. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just have some coffee. All right. That's good. Take the shotgun shells and uh doesn't look like there's anything there. So let's reload this as well. Oh. That took care of it. Problem is, we're very limited on that ammo. I probably shouldn't have used it. It was very satisfying, though. Ooh. Too big. <laughs> Too much to carry. Okay, we still have some AP ammo, at, uh, and at, uh, at some point we're gonna swap over to um, the Butcher. Okay. Jupiter time. Oh, those guys really broke my armor a little bit. Uh, fix it up. Um, yeah, okay, I don't know who's fighting over there. Oh, it's uh, the guys below. Um, might as well go kill them. Won't say no to the opportunity of killing some high level enemies. UNISG. Perfect. I'm more afraid of sin at this point. <laughs> right, uh, I think I'm starting to run out of AP. I hear you down there. Oh. That got him. Want to do a little check here, make sure there's no one left. 
Okay. Let's see what we got here. Sinner, some ammo. Another sinner with an AS Val. Uh, if only it had a 30 round mag, I would probably take it over the um, uh, SRVM. Right. Um, nah. Already have an EXO. Please take the grenades. Okay, that wasn't bad. Now let's see, do we have any missions around here? Let's deal with these mutants first, and then we can go uh, to the ecologist base, fix some of our stuff. Um, any mutants there? There usually are some spawns over here. Uh, snorks, bloodsuckers, sometimes pseudo giants. So it's worth keeping an eye out. And there might also be dogs around there. Ooh, another stalker sunset. I would love to be able to, to freeze the game time to, to one of these... Uh, sunset hours. Okay, Bloodsucker. That was a little bit messier than I wanted, but uh, it's okay. We only took a bit of damage to the leg. Right, swap to the sniper rifle just in case there's a merc here. It only happens from time to time, but it never hurts to be prepared for them. Okay, looks like we're clear. Nearly out of AP. So, uh, let's commence the murdering of freedom again, if they respond. And uh, yeah, to that one guy I talked with on Discord about murdering freedom, I'll remind you again that uh, it is my duty. Because <laughs> I am duty. to shoot you. I do mean to shoot that guy. Actually, we can now take everything. We're in the base, so... Oh, a legend! Ah, so satisfying. Oh, crap! And the PDA. Sweet! 
Смотреть в оба. Doesn't look like there's anyone else. Ooh. Five for five. Uh. Okay, so let's finish looting here. <laughs> What I would really love to see is uh, uh, duty moving in, start moving in once we clear the freedom here. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's a bit uh, too much. Okay, the mercs are back. So let's swap back to this. Let's which are guys to ignore combat and uh can I pop this guy in the back of the front of the head nice right I'm going to move straight in now going to stick to FMJ I don't think all of them spawned back so we should probably be able to take care of whoever's left Not sure where I... That was a big exosuit. And there's another one. So you're outside, huh? Got him. Okay, gonna go the outside route. Just gonna make sure I didn't miss any of them. No one in here. That felt like an anomaly for a second. I think it's clear. So with that said, let's grab another ibuprofen, heal our legs and our arms. We're gonna loot these guys and then... Um, yeah, remember that uh, mission in the Scar Anomaly for the, um, uh, for the ecologists? I thought you have to stay there and scan. But, um, yeah, apparently you just have to place the uh, the thing. I completely brain farted and forgot that that's a thing. Okay, so there were three mercs in power armor. I would love to see what they had on them. Can of tuna, sure. Mark Exo. From what I remember, it's not better than the monolith one. But it is 75%! We could fix this one. Alright, it's coming with us. We have our first Exo, I think. FNP90. Mm. Oh god, it's a scar. Uh, I, I could give it to one of the companions. The thing is, it's it's spray and pray, but it has uh, pretty good damage. And an, an MP7. Hmm. If, if it was fixed, maybe.
Okay, well, I consider this an absolute win. Now, uh, let's reload this. And, um... I don't think I need a whole Psy Resist just to drop the thing. So just an Eprazine should do good enough. And swap to this. Someone's fighting over there. Okay, just place, and off we go. Thought I heard something. Oh! Alright. Those are jumpers. Uh, the thing is, they drop snork parts, so I really... There's no reason for me to fight four jumpers. Absolutely no reason. Oh, there we go. Monolith. Yeah, let's, let's not spend that much ammo. We can move in closer. Behind this rock here. Oh, that one's dead. Well, when in doubt, push. <laughs> oh, he wanted to chug a grenade. Lob. Chug. Uh, one of those words. Lob. <laughs> All right. 56% monolith exoskeleton. Okay, let's drop what we don't need. Uh, yeah. Okay, good enough. I wonder if that grenade launcher works on my, um, my AK monolith. Cat 9. Right, but some more 556 five, ammo, so that's nice. We also have a lot of HP. We might as well switch just to the assault rifle for a while. Uh, so I don't have to carry the shotgun around all the time. Another thing I completely forgot, I should have took the... Um, I should have taken the... Um... Oh! I can actually give him the, the arm cell protector right now. Even though it's broken. So, let's just go and do it. Love the sound of the wind. Ok, 
Okay, always open from the side. Alright. Here's a protector. And I'll take your energy drink. Asshole. <laughs> right, uh, guys? Other way? Yeah? We're evacuating. Okay, next stop. Rope for these guys. We can do that. If, if I switch my guys to fight, they will murder the poor man's uh, pseudo-dog. <laughs> okay. Back to the butcher. We're on AP ammo. Because uh, a lot of the time there's uh, also enemies around here. So, it's better to be prepared. Hmm. Actually, it's kind of clear. Yeah, I killed this guy on the way back because it was pissing me off that um, I couldn't turn in the mission for him. <laughs> Uh, sad, not sad. Alright, next mission. Don't want to do that yet. Uh, let's, let's kill the bandit base first and then we can go back to the, the shipwreck. And uh, we'll see about finding another companion. And then we can grab Rogue and head south. I'm honestly not sure what I want to do about all the weapons I have with me. Because I would like to take them with me to, to outskirts, but there's also a lot of monolith to loot on the way. And... Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't really have room for it. Unless I try and carry everything with Epi. Which I could. Okay, I'm, I'm going the more straightforward approach because I don't want to waste any more uh, Lapua rounds. So I'm just going to try and peek over this hill here. Okay. I think there might be one more. Oh! Two more. Killed that guy before he woke up. And where's the other one? I can see him. Well, once again, when in doubt, push.
Oh, a wrenched. No idea how these bandits survive out here with basically no gear. Okay. But yeah, I think my biggest mistake right now was the fact that I didn't take my expert tools with me. Because if I had them, I uh, probably could have uh, fixed and upgraded the exosuit. We picked up, but uh, on the other hand, I don't really have batteries anyway, so whatever. Okay, where's the last one? Oh yeah, uh, if you're wondering where I've got so much uh, 556 FMJ from. I had like 40 bottles of vodka stashed away. Uh, you know, the, the red vodka. And uh, I went to Yantar and exchanged it. I think a third of it was on 556 FMJ and another... I mean, two thirds of it, 556 and a third, uh, 9x39. Ooh, I'm starting to get a little overweight. But I think we can make it all the way down. Okay, we're back, we're safe. That's rogue. I'm gonna guess... Uh, I'm gonna look around for, for other people as well. A bit later, let's go stash some of our stuff. Although this stash is tiny, I do need a bigger stash, so... Um, I will buy one metal box. I know it's a little bit of a waste of money, but at this point I completely forgot about the tools, so might as well. There's always meds around here. There we go. Okay. So I'll place the little box right here somewhere. Perfect. Alright. So let's see. I disabled the brain scorcher and I need to talk to Strelok. Where can I find them? Alright. And we have to meet with Rogue. He's very far away. Like, uh, at least two tables. <laughs> right. Got a Psy helmet, um, cut down the Brain Scorcher, and I would like to talk to Strelok. And of course, he's gonna send us to get the experimental weapon, which is right here. But on the way, I 
think uh, I think we can deal with the snorks. Yeah, I'll just use the HP ammo so I don't have to swap weapons. Uh, let's see what other missions we've got around here. Yeah, we're not gonna do these. <laughs> um, we can clear some mutants. Uh, kill military at Jupiter. No, military are friends. Fortunately, unfortunately. And I don't think... Do we have free board shops? Let's, let's do a quick check. No, we don't. But we do have two bloodsucker hearts. Did we need two or three? Two. Perfect. We can do that one. Okay. Oh, I think he also sells scopes, right? Hmm. Trying to remember what we need for uh, for the um, the club. I don't think I see it. It's probably one of the big long ones. So, uh, um, March Tactical, Leopold, I'm not sure. Could be the Pancreatic Sniper Scope. Either way. Hmm. I don't remember if the Deer Hunter had a silent... The Deer Hunter does have a silencer. And you know what? I'm gonna buy it. It uh, it does hel help to have a silent sniper rifle. Uh, it gives you a few more... Um, a few more seconds or a couple of more shots before they notice where you are. And uh, that can really uh, get you out of some nasty situations. Okay, I do know there are some more stalkers up top. I still want to see if I can get someone else to join us. Oh, that's probably a rookie. Yeah. And he's not gonna join us. Alright. Ooh. Energy drink. Okay, so let's see. What do we have to do? Snorks. We can do snorks. Right. Uh, let's see if we can deal with whatever's down here. There's also that plateau over there, which we could go for. But for now, I just want to check on the docks, which are right there. And they look to be clear. No, there's actually someone there. Ah, a legend. Oh, we actually have the sniper equipped. Perfect. Did I miss? Well, that one didn't. And I'll also take a quick run up that plateau. Oh, I hate these nets. Uh, well, there's a battery here. So yeah, for example, that right there is where the silencer was very useful. You saw I shot him and uh, he uh, acted like a... 
like like a Skyrim NPC. <laughs> Is someone there? Ah, guess it was the wind. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm hungry. All right, so there is uh, there's two of them here. I think that should be it. I don't remember there ever being more than three guys here. I thought I heard footsteps, but it's only the rain on my uh, helmet. Okay, so. Uh, AK-5C. Drop this. I mean, we got a red dot sight, that's something. Again, nothing important. We can sell that off later. And again, useless stuff. Okay. So let's go back. We'll pass through that uh, portal thing. And uh, we'll deal with the Snork Caves. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go around the fence. I move between these. Up. Oh. And... Ah, I hate that sound. Okay, our companions are going to take the long way around. I hope none of them die. And, uh, time to kill some snorks. If I remember where the entrance is first. Here it is. Um, I'm not sure if it, it's better to go in with a shotgun or with this, but I think we'll be okay. I might throw some grenades in there, just in case. I killed two of them. Three, I think there's like ten of them in here. But it seems some of them are a little bugged, so they're not moving, which I can't complain about. Okay. We're definitely not done yet. If I remember right, there, there are more here. Although I don't hear any. Although they can be quite sneaky when they want to. Bring some gunfire around here. Yep. Okay, now, where did I hear gunfire from? Over there. 
there's some mutants there and there might be some uh, UNISG here at the at the complex so let's switch to AP just to be ready reload the sniper rifle as well it's loaded Let's see what's down here. Sometimes there are some enemies there as well. I thought I I, I thought I spotted one, but I didn't. Um, as for this area, you never know what you're gonna find. For example, for example, you can find some sinners. <laughs> BKM. That that would have hurt if it got me. Thing in here. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's move on to the antenna complex. Where are my companions? They're just about here. So, here we go. We're gonna have to come back here at some point. I think they're... Oh, the, the, um, the military secret service has a mission here. Just want to be ready in case there's any mutants around. I can hear dogs over there. I don't really want to waste bullets on them. Okay. And here we're going to meet poltergeists and probably some UNISGs. Or Sin. I don't have a grenade launcher, but maybe... Okay. That solved the problem nicely. Oh god, no. Right, let's grab what we can. And we're actually gonna have to slowly move. Never mind, we're running. That fucking hurt. Uh, the entrance is actually somewhere around here. And there's gonna be like three more poltergeists in there. Okay, if we stand still, they won't realize we're here. Okay, I think we're safe. It's funny, I've been here um, a few times, and almost every time I got an emission when going down here. Okay, emissions complete. I just didn't want to continue the mission uh, with all this noise. Alright, and if we just go down there... We're 
straight at the objective. We got the Gauss Rifle. We won't be able to use it for, for a long while, but uh, once it's done, we will... Uh, I mean, once the mission is complete, we will be able to use it. It's a very powerful weapon. We've got, I think, 46 shots saved up at home. That's gonna be cool. Right. So, we're out, and the next thing I wanna do is I wanna deal with these mutants here and here, uh, turn in the mission to Noah, and then get back to the shipwreck. But I would also like to go to the antenna complex. Uh, there might be some UNISG over there. And, uh, yeah, I'll never turn down a chance to kill some of those. They might give me an exosuit. Who knows? Right, so let's do a quick check. Don't see any mutants around there. Last time I was here, um, not not on, on Invictus, but on a normal save. I got completely murdered by a pack of pseudo giants. That was a fracture. The cool thing about the fractures is uh, when they attack you, they come at you straight. So it's uh, pretty easy to deal with them. Okay, there's the antenna complex. Let's see. Oh, there is someone in there. I don't like this. I didn't kill him in one shot. Killed that one, though. Oh, that's an echo. Exo. I'll just push him. Always iffy when pushing you and ISG. They have some mean guns. And their, their armor is skin. Ah, damn it. Okay, we gotta run back up top. How about this? Well, that definitely hurt him. Get over here, I'm, bleeding. I'm right here. <laughs> Alright, that's something. It is a mil spec power source. We could use that to. Um, uh, we could use that on the monolith exosuit. Should be nice. Uh, and nothing good here. All right. Well, <coughs> it's something, I suppose. Okay, and let's continue on to those mutants. It's gonna turn to daylight in any moment now. Alright, is that the gas station? Oh no, it's just a village and I can already see a dog. Let's cross the bridge here. And yeah, looking at time, I don't think we'll uh, we'll be able to make it uh, through the Jupiter Underground this episode. We had a pretty long crack all the way here, and uh, running around killing stuff. Uh, Took a little bit of time, so... Yeah, it's definitely dogs. And zombies.
Ah. I gotta get in closer. That's fair. Generally, don't like the Desert Eagle. It's it's uh, just so overhyped everywhere. But uh, I can't deny the sound it it makes. It's just uh, amazing. Where is that dog? Come on, stupid dog! You make me look bad. Booga booga booga. And if you know that reference, you're old. <laughs> Rat protectant, nice. And the stash. Let me guess, it's on top of the house. Right? Oh no, here we go. Oh, it's an upgrade, I guess. Come on. Make way. Right. We can turn this in and then... Uh, Okay, again, I'm gonna switch to FMJ here. You never know when there's a fight going on. It's some money at least. Okay, next we're gonna head south. We're gonna talk to um guy with dog. I can just never remain, remember his name. I mean... Who? Lurkers? And dogs? Where are the lurkers? I thought I saw something there. Oh, let's just go for it and um, in the worst case we should be able to take a couple of lurker uh, hits without dying. That's just the dog. Lurkers could have been um, further up. Oh, calm down. Dogs again. My only weakness. <laughs> oh, I hate that mod. Okay, let's let's just leave.
I'm not gonna heal right now. I'll uh, just uh, hold off until we get to um, the shipwreck and I'll heal at the doctor. It should cost us less money. There is a dog somewhere over there. Uh, oh, the green stash is in the burnt village. No, I can't get to that one. That's gonna be, I think, in the controller tunnel. Yeah, not gonna bother. Right, we're back. Let's turn in the missions. And turn in the mission to Rogue as well. Okay. No, Psy Storm. That's alright. Uh, he's gonna tell us all about uh, Eidolon, the invincible monolith champion. Uh, we're gonna need the Gauss rifle to kill him. Uh, actually, we won't. He can be killed by any weapon. But you do need to finish uh, this mission chain, I think, to be able to do it, uh, to attack him. But don't, don't quote me on that, I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Uh, let's uh, tell our guys to wait there. I'm gonna guess there's still no one who wants to join up with us, right? That's one of ours. Mm. No, no luck. Okay, so we made it back. We talked to Rogue. And uh, I think that will be it for today. So, for a quick recap, we started out in Rostock went really really fast through army warehouses and red forest we fought some sin and monolith not a big deal we managed to get past them we um did a couple of missions uh that we had in jupiter uh we cleared the yanov station of uh, freedom forces once again then we moved to Zaton. we killed a few mercs over here we killed a few Unisig here, uh, we met with um, Beard again, he sent us to Rogue, Rogue sent us to get the Gauss uh, prototype from uh, the whatever anomaly, Iron Forest. We managed to do it, we killed a few more Unisig here, we also did a couple of mission in missions including the Snork Cave and the Arm Cell Protector for the guy over here, killed a few mutants. And we are back home for now. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's enough time left to do the whole uh, Jupiter Underground thing. That will take probably like uh, half an hour on its own. So we will leave it for next episode. And next episode, yeah, we will do that. And then I would like to end up in outskirts, set up a little base uh, at Strelox place, at the laundromat, and then uh, start farming Monolith, Unisig, and uh, even the Mercs down here, I 
think they had um, they had a spot right here, I think. But yeah, um, that's that's pretty much what I want to do. And uh, from then on, I will probably spend a lot of time running around uh, outskirts, just killing stuff, sleeping, killing stuff all over again. Just uh, doing that until we get the gear that we need. Uh, until then, I might, by tomorrow, I might, uh, or by next time, I might try to fix the monolith exosuit. Actually, the Merc exosuit that we, we picked up, it's fixable. And also, I found a recipe for the battery power source. But I'm not sure if I need expert tools or not for it. So, for now, I, I won't uh, grab it until I look into it and see uh, that I can for sure fix it. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you next time.